and welcome back to a new video. Now today I thought I'd whack out the racing jacket. It seems only fitting because I am allowed the keys, the GI Yaris for the day. So a massive thank you to SLM Toyota Attleboro for kindly letting me take their GI Yaris out and film a video on it. I'll leave all of the other branches in the description below so you can check out your closest one. And yeah, I've been so excited ever since this car launched. It's been over a year now, I believe that the GI Yaris has been out so I'm so excited to get behind the wheel properly and test this car out so yeah without further ado let's check it out So Toyota made the GI Yaris due to homologation rules, which is great for us because that essentially means we get a road legal rally car. Only 25,000 of the GR Yaris will ever be made worldwide, making this car a very special one indeed. It does share some characteristics with the normal Yaris, which you've probably seen a million times on the motorway in the slow lane. This car has been redesigned and it allows for a way more driver focused experience. There are also three model variants that this car is available in, which I will go through later on. The first thing you notice about the GR Yaris is the fact it's only available as a three door. The normal Yaris is available as a five door as well. And that sloping roof line on the GR Yaris slopes down 10 centimeters lower, which compromises your room in the back, but it does also have a carbon fiber roof, which I'll show you a little bit later on. And of course, this car is five centimeters longer. In fact, the only thing that this car shares with the normal Yaris are the front and rear lights and the door mirrors. Yes, you heard that correctly. The GR Yaris has a carbon fiber roof. A Yaris with a carbon fiber roof. What more could you want? So that saves you 3.5 kilograms and the bonnet, door skins and tailgate are all made of aluminium, which saves you a further 24 kilograms. In total, this car weighs 1,280 kilograms, which is insane considering it has a four wheel drive system. It's not even a full Yaris chassis underneath either. Well, the front half is, however, the rear has been adapted from the Corolla and the CHR. I'm utterly obsessed with just how good the GR Yaris looks from the front. I think it has just the right amount of presence and overall the aggression that the front end gives is next level. I really love how big those black grills are. They are actually the same size as the radiator, which aids perfect cooling into the engine system. We also have a GR badge here, which stands for Gazoo Racing, some air vents which provide cooling air to the brakes, which which is perfect for the circuit pack, which is one I have because the brakes are larger. This detail here is carbon fiber wrapped, um, so not real the real thing. However, it does look quite nice. It does tie in the black accents very nicely. All in all, I'm really impressed with the overall look of the front, but wait till you see the back. Under the bonnet, the GR Yaris has a 1.6 litre three-cylinder petrol turbocharged engine, which is said to be the most powerful three-cylinder turbo petrol engine on sale currently. And it also pushes out 261 brake horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque, which is a lot of power for such a light little car. So I'm really, really excited to push this car to its limits, see what it's capable of on the roads around Attleborough. 
Moving on to my favourite angle of the GR Yaris, which is the rear, you can see just how much bigger this car looks in comparison to the normal Yaris. So it's actually six centimetres wider, it looks a lot more aggressive, and I think that's down to those flared wheel arches, which of course help aerodynamics and reduce the drag. That combined with the rear roof spoiler and the rear diffuser make for a more efficient way of driving. I also really love how the black ties in very nicely to the rear with the privacy glass, the spoiler and the rear diffuser. You've got another GR Yaris badge here and the GR4 badge which is finished in a sort of metallic grey colour um, and that is a really special badge because the four wheel drive system on the GR Yaris has been totally developed and designed for this particular car. So I'm really intrigued to test that out. Now it's safe to say you're probably not buying this car for practicality reasons, but just to make you aware, the boot space capacity is only 174 litres, which is a little lacklustre. However, that is due to the impressive four wheel drive system. So let's talk about the interior. Now overall, at first glance, it's impressive. First off, the seats feel amazing. They are a leather Alcantara kind of sports seat. They have a GR there, which looks absolutely awesome. Um, they feel very supportive. Uh, the bolsters hug you very nicely. Visibility feels quite good. Um, I am sat quite high up. I have got it down to as low as it can go. Ideally, I'd like it a tiny bit lower, but um, once I'm driving, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, in front of me, I have my analog dials. Um, I also have the steering wheel, which is very nice. Um, it has some red leather stitching as well. Um, if I was to have this car myself, I probably would swap the steering wheel for maybe a flat bottom as well as the standard analog dials. You also do get some display screens which tell you about your turbo boost and your four wheel drive torque distribution. And overall, the cabin does feel very nice. I've got Alcantara here too, which ties in nicely to the seats. You also can see there is red contrast stitching as well on these seats. And I'm really intrigued to see what they're like um, on the roads. I can feel already, I don't think I'll be moving anywhere, which is brilliant. Um, it'd be brilliant around a track as well, because obviously if you're slamming the car into those corners, you don't want seats that are going to slide you all about. The gear knob has also been raised by five centimeters, so I don't feel like I'm reaching all that far to change gear which is nice also some red leather stitching on that too more gr badges to follow with the gr badge on the start stop button and you also get a plaque that says gr developed for fia world rally championship which adds the whole exclusiveness of this car too you also have a couple of buttons here one for the auto blip feature so if you aren't experienced in heel and toe like myself, then this button will help you and you also have the ability to turn traction completely off, followed by a manual handbrake. So this car doesn't have the usual automatic handbrakes that are electronic. Instead, you get the good old fashioned manual handbrake, which I'm sure is a lot of fun around the track. Great for going into corners, lovely little handbrake turns as well. So that's a nice feature with some obvious contrast red stitching too. Standard features are also plentiful. You get dual climate control, an infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a reversing camera, and you also get auto cruise control with lane assist too, making this car quite a usable daily. So space in the front for the driver and the passenger seems pretty good. I feel like I've got a lot of head and leg room. However, not sure how I'd feel in the back. There is now only two seats in the GR version and because it is a three door hatch, it means getting into the back is a little less practical. So I'm not sure if this car is ideal for carrying adult passengers, um, considering the sloping roof line means headroom is a little restricted. 
There are also driving modes with this car. So as it's four wheel drive, it starts off in normal, which sends 60% of the power to the front and 40% to the rear. But flick it to the left, that's when you'll activate sport mode, which gives you 70% to the rear and 30% to the front. But there is that all important track mode, which allows you for a perfect 50-50 ratio. Before I drive off, I just wanted to say this video is going to be more of a first impressions drive than a review because there are so many out there. I'm a little bit late. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm so very excited to head off. So enough rambling, let's go. This is a little bit of a busy junction. So let's hope I can pull out. You can definitely notice that at around three, three and a half thousand RPM, this car comes alive. It loves that. The, it's so responsive already. Wow. So far, so good. And I've been driving, I don't know, five seconds. I can't get over just how quickly I've fallen in love with this car. The, the steering feels so agile. It's great into going into corners. This car around a track would be next level. The only thing I can say at this point in time is I am getting quite a bit of wind noise. So if you wanted to daily it, it might be a little bit noisy, but nothing too detrimental again. Um, Overall, I'm just so impressed. I actually cannot stop smiling. 0 to 62 time is just 5.5 seconds. It does feel quicker than that. Um, four wheel drive system also really does help. I think it's absolutely amazing how you can determine how much power is going to the front and the rear wheels rather than just the classic 50 50 split. Um, the mode so far, I'm just in normal mode, but I will try out sport mode momentarily. Um, and yeah, I really, really want one. And you can pick this car up for £30,000. So if you get the base model variant of this car, you can pick it up for £30,020. If you're spreading that across a PCP, it's not going to be more than, I don't know, £300 a month maybe, which is absolutely insane. Um, you also can get a convenience pack and that just is the same as base in terms of mechanical gear. However, it does give you um, a lot more interior upgrades, uh, JBL speakers, um, maps on the infotainment system, which I don't think is too detrimental because nowadays, who actually uses maps? I use Google Maps, so if it's got Apple CarPlay, I am more than happy. Um, I think it also gives you heads up display, front and rear parking sensors, that sort of thing. So it just completely alters the interior rather than anything um, exterior wise or chassis wise. But you can get the top spec, which is the circuit pack, but you can't spec convenience and circuit pack together in the UK or Europe. Not sure why, um, but you can't. So circuit pack is the one that I have and if I was going to buy this car I'd have to buy it with the circuit pack on it. I think it completely changes the drive. It's just so much performance for such a little car and I still can't get over the fact it's a Toyota Yaris. It's a Yaris with a carbon roof and it's so incredibly fast. You do get the exhaust sounds being pumped through to the cabin, but nowadays that's so common with car manufacturers. It's just as the emissions are changing, we have to be so cautious. So some people hate that, some people don't mind it. I don't mind it. Obviously, I'd love a proper sounding exhaust. So if I was to buy this car, I'd probably chuck an exhaust on it. However, the, the notes through the cabin isn't the end of the world really for me. This car really does feel incredibly driver focused. I'm itching to get through those gears. It's just so nimble, so agile. The steering is responsive. It's quick into those corners. It just literally goes effortlessly. So far, I can't, I can't fault this car. The only thing I would say is I'd rather be a little bit lower in a seating position, but that's just personal preference. 
but yeah, I literally can't stop smiling. And these seats, as I mentioned earlier, I was, I was impressed by the bolsters on these seats. So far with the country roads around Attleborough, I've been absolutely fine into the corners. Worth noting, obviously I am adhering to all speed limits, all um, road laws. I'm not being silly with this car. Um, obviously I would love to test the expectations and the real limits of this car, but I need to be sensible. Um, there are other people on the road, um, that sort of thing. So just a little FYI but we are on a long straight here, so. Oh. Literally, so quickly back up to 60, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Into the corner. Straight on the turbo boost. I really do feel like I'm being pushed it's great and there we are straight to 60 in no time at all and it's worth noting i am just in normal mode but let's pop it into sport why not let's go Ooh, some red sports displays by my turbo boost bar okay i can notice that instantly I didn't think I'd be able to, to be fair, because normal mode seemed pretty punchy. I obviously knew that the, the distribution, the 70-30, would make a difference, but I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. Instantly, instantly new. Lovely corner. This car screams for more. I just wish I could give it more. In sport mode, the suspension does feel a little firmer. Obviously in normal mode, it is quite firm as standard, but it's nothing that I couldn't get used to. I feel like these seats are just so comfortable that it doesn't really matter that the suspension is a little bit firmer. Um, and obviously I think I'm on the 18, so take that into consideration, but I definitely would still daily this car. If you are in the market for a GR Yaris, I definitely think you should be going for the circuit pack. It's only a few thousand pounds more and it offers so much more for the driver. So it gives you changes to the chassis. So things like your brakes, they're larger. You've got forged lightweight alloy wheels with Michelin PS4 tires. You also get a stiffer suspension and a locking diff on both axles. So you've got a car that's almost ready for the track and you don't really need to do that much more to it. So that brings me on to the end of today's video. I'm now on my way back to SLM Toyota to give them the keys and the car. Um, it's safe to say I have fully fallen in love with the GR Yaris. My expectations were already high, but safe to say they have been exceeded. Um, I definitely would like to try this car out on a track. Um, I think it screams for that because obviously this car literally wants you to put your foot down, it wants you to be going into those corners, it wants you to really test out the full capabilities. Uh, so I think a track day would be a good idea and a good place to really test out the GR Yaris. But my experience today, the few hours that I have had the chance to drive this car have literally been incredible and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you very soon mm -hmm.